This is Raphael from SideQuest Studios. Another of Rainbow Moon's key features is the character development, and there are a number of ways how to develop and make your character stronger. Speaking about character development in RPGs, many of you will probably think about leveling up. Well, that's partly how it works in Rainbow Moon, but there is also a lot more to it. First of all, by defeating enemies, all of your active party members will earn experience points, also called XP. Gain enough XP and your characters will level up. Leveled up characters will receive additional HP and MP and from time to time additional subturns as well as passive skill points. Apart from XP's, you can also earn Rainbow Pearls. For each defeated enemy, the character that has dealt the killing strike will be credited with a certain amount of Rainbow Pearls at the end of the battle. These Rainbow Pearls are like a currency that you can spend at any seven across Rainbow Moon to increase your character's attributes including strength, defense, speed, luck, as well as additional HP and MP. It's a very easy to learn system that immediately has a huge impact during battles. For example, a maxed out speed attribute changes the turn order to your advantage, giving you the opportunity to destroy many foes before they can even attack you or cast nasty skills such as merging with other enemies or healing themselves. Besides leveling up and increasing your attributes at the seventh, there are further ways to make your character stronger. One of them is to acquire new active and passive special skills. You've already seen some of the special skills in action, so you already know a little bit about them. Each of your party members can learn a unique set of skills. Some skills can immobilize your enemies and weaken their defense, while others rely more on raw force. Serena's Moonstrike, for example, has the ability to poison an enemy. Once poisoned, an enemy will automatically receive damage at the end of each turn, making it an easy victim. Next to attacking skills, there are also a number of supporting and healing spells that can often be learned by more than one of your heroes. Let's say you have a classic healer at your back, but you also want one of your typical melee fighters to cast protection so that he can look after himself. Well, you're free to do so. In this way, we leave you room for customization to develop your own playstyle and optimize party layout. Apart from learning active skills, you can also equip your characters with passive skills. Visit a scroll shop where you will find an ever-expanding offer of useful passive skills such as gaining a special defense bonus when your character is adjacent to other members of your party on the battlefield or immunizing your hero against conditions such as slowed and dazed. Later on in the game you will be able to buy some really remarkable scrolls allowing you to use any kind of potion without spending a subturn in battle. To equip a new passive skill, you need an adequate amount of skill points. As mentioned earlier, the total number of skill points increases from time to time by simply leveling up, giving you the possibility to activate more and better passive skills at the same time. You always have to find the right balance between mighty but expensive abilities and splitting your skill points into cheaper but also weaker powers. As you can see, there is plenty of sandboxing when it comes down to optimizing your party. Make sure to watch out for Rainbow Moon on PlayStation Store this July.